Hey you guys and welcome to my hashtag a year thon finish slash catch up on a serious wrap up video and I did kind of good I feel good because I was just like at least if I read five books I'll be good and I did at least that and I'm happy so thumbs up for me okay so the first book that I read was Rome by Jay Cronover and this is the third book in the Mark the Men series and I gave it a five out of five stars <clears throat> Then I read Nash by Jay Cronover, and this is the fourth book in the Markman series, and I gave it a four out of five stars. Then I was feeling in a different mood. It was just too much romance and ink, so then I read Mr. Monster. I finished Mr. Monster by Dan Wells. <laughs> um, and I read 198 pages, and I gave it a five out of five stars. And I just have to say, even though I haven't responded back to your comments yet, people, Reading serial killer stuff does not put me in a romantic mood. That is not, I don't know how this came about. I don't know what kind of tongue twister I said in that video because I feel like I need to rewatch it and pay very special attention to my words. But what I meant was that, that, okay, I went from all this romance, right? And then I was like, I needed something else. So I went to the serial killer stuff. And then I went to the serial killer stuff. And then I was like, I think I'm back in the mood for more romance. And it, it it's, it's just not like it sounds, okay, people? Not that I'm like telling people if you feel in a romantic mood after reading about serial killers, you're wrong. I mean, that's, that's your prerogative. But I feel like this discussion is just getting way out of hand now. So I'm just going to stop talking because I feel like I'm making it worse. Plus, my light is blinking. And it's like, shut up, Keisha. Just before I turn out the batteries on you. Then I read the third book in the I'm Not a Serial Killer trilogy and it is I Don't Want to Kill You by Dan Wells. It was amazing and there should be more and five out of five stars you guys. And then I read 24 pages of Clash by Nicole Williams and I just didn't want to deal with their BS anymore. Basically okay the first one Crash is really good. Okay I'm not saying that this isn't good but it's like the same drama like they're like one of the most drama filled couples I think I've read about and I just I can't I didn't want to deal with it at this point I was just like no I like you I'll come back to you later I don't want to be like irritated you the whole thing so then I reread a book that I wanted to read the sequel to <laughs> and it and this one is when we venture into what my friend likes to dub the Fifty Shades of Grey territory I haven't actually read that book yet so I don't know but it is Peyton's Way by Jenny Penn and it is the first book in the Cattlemen's uh, Club and um, yeah so it was 381 pages and I gave it five out of five stars it's a reread I loved it and um, then I started on the sequel to that one um, it was Haley's Game this one takes like point of view from a different character so technically I didn't need to reread the first one but I just didn't feel like put into that world or whatever and I only read like I'm in 57% of it right now so and it has 423 pages so I decided just to divide the pages up by you know in half and I'll just like, count 211 pages read for the readathon because I read so much some afterwards um, so yeah there we go and all in all I read 1884 pages so thumbs up for me I really wish that though I had finished Haley's game but I got really busy and I was like either real world or just stay in reading and I was like I'll, I'll go out into the real world please the real world had pizza okay just putting that out there just put that out there um and then um of course I'm a, I already gave you some quotes from Nash and Rome beforehand and I'll link that hashtag earthon update down below if you want to see that so I'll give you some for Mr. Monster and I don't want to kill you so was I fooling myself thinking I could split my life like this was it possible to be two people one good and one bad or was I forced to be a mix of both a good person forever tainted by evil and then it's like I wanted to speak but I couldn't sometimes you can't talk because there's nothing to say and sometimes there's just too much and that's from Mr. Monster and then we go to I don't want to kill you and it's like life is too short it's too precious we have to live in this world but we don't have to wallow in it we don't have to fill our lives with all this darkness and then 
I thought I could wave a magic wand and continue, or a knife, or whatever, and make all the killing stop, make all the sadness stop, and no one would ever have to die again. No one would ever go away. But that doesn't happen. People always go away, and it doesn't matter if they're shot, or stabbed, or hit by a truck, or killed by cancer, or worn out by age. It'll never stop. And so, uh, yeah, those are two of my favorite quotes. So you guys give me a favorite quote from one of the books you guys read for the hashtag of your thought. How well did you guys do? Are you guys participating next month? It's Rick Riordan month where you can read any Rick Riordan book that you want. And I know the majority are probably focusing on Percy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus, and the Red Pyramid. So let me know what your plans are and let me know what your favorite quotes are from this uh, hashtag of your thought thing. And I will see you guys next month. Well, technically, I'll probably be seeing you guys you know, in the next day or so with another video, but you know what I meant for the hashtag Earthon. I'll see you guys later. Bye!